Hello everybody, this is Blade Cross EXE, and welcome back to Fate Grand Order's Journey to the West event. Okay, let's do the Journey to Enlightenment, uh, Tathagata. Level 90 recommended, Lancers and Casters. Okay, well, if we're gonna do a Lancers, then I'm definitely gonna take another Mordred with me. And Casters don't fare well against Riders. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna switch Karna out, put him right here, and give him the Ox Demon King, uh... Give him the Ox Demon King Craft Essence. So that way, if uh, if either one of them gets wiped out, then all of a sudden, boom, Karna's in there, and they have a Buster Boost, and Noble Phantasm, fire. Just blow everything up. Let's hope this, uh, hope this goes well. Oh, that's why... Oh dear, okay. Naga type enemies. Alright, well, let's start off with Mordred. Actually, no, we'll have time to build her a Noble Phantasm next round. Let's start with Medusa, dealing out some damage. Okay, actually, probably, probably could have switched that up a little bit. Okay, not so bad, not so bad. It's okay, it's okay. Still good, still good. Now let's, uh, Mordred and Medusa. I'm not afraid to use Belrofron. Belrofron? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. I'm not afraid to use Pegasus on... Yeah. I'll use Pegasus to knock these guys out, and then I'll... Come in swinging with uh, Double Clarinet Blood Arthur next turn. Let's go ahead and boost the Noble Phantasm gauges just a little bit. And then... Pegasus out of nowhere. Okay, that should be good enough. Just hit my front Mordred once. No, okay. Alright, so increase defense. There we go. There we go. Alright, so now. Okay, let's have Medusa attack this one. Pegasus. And then if the middle one survives, then the extra attack will finish it off. And we get plenty of critical stars next turn. Don't think any of them will survive, but there's possibility. Nope, they're all dead. <laughs> Just die bomb you with the giant flying horse. Oh, Lancer. Or, uh, oh, Snake Queen. That's, uh, that's a new looking one. Oh, well, I may have jumped the gun on that just a little bit. Ox Demon King. Okay, well, guess what? He's gonna come at you swinging. Just not even gonna hold back on this turn. Go ahead and throw some HP recovery down on that. And here we go. Clarinet Blood Arthur, Clarinet Blood Arthur, and... Uh... Oh, that's tempting. Let's go Buster Mordred just uh just to make sure that Ox Demon King dies, because Lancer Altar is a bigger threat here because of the Black Tornado of Death from the Spear. Speaking of Lancer Arturia, Camelot will be released very soon, and I'm hyped for that because of all the versions of Arturia that exist, of the ones I haven't got so far, I think the one that I want the most, besides Mysterious Hero and X Altar, is normal Lancer Arturia. Archer Arturia will be great and all, but that Spear, though. I do kind of wish that we could get her without the mount. That's just me, though. But yeah, I'm really excited for that. Alright, Snake Lady, you like this? Oh, you still alive? Just barely? Okay. 
Yeah, Deuce looks like she's about to bite it, so... Oh, you about to feel the pain on this one. Kill the snake, and double buster for Lancer Altar. Smack! Smack! Okay, and here comes Karna. And there goes your attack power. And now we all get a buster up. Let's see here. And if I can get her no fantastic gauge high enough, I can pull off another one. Okay, if she gets hit like twice, maybe? No? Okay. Uh, not quite, not quite. But hey, guess what? Noble Phantasm Seal! Buster, Buster, Buster. Went into this feeling pretty confident, but that's a lot of HP she got. Come on, hit, hit more... Yeah, okay. Now I can throw another Noble Phantasm at you. Take a look here. Uh, yes, I think I can pull this off. May not kill her, but it's going to hurt at least. Not quite. We'll get her next turn, though. Still got two goddesses left. Stena will probably be the one to finish her off, just because... Uh, I can never pronounce her name. The archer one is weak to Lancer, so... Y'all did good. What are you still powering up for? <laughs> it didn't last very long, anyway. Alright, Steno, it's up to you and your little sister. On. Ah, next turn, next turn. Just don't kill Steno. Just don't. Okay, still here, still here. I got you. You gone. You gone with the wind. Gone with the wind, King of Storms. I really wish they give her an animation upgrade. I think I might have mentioned that before. I don't remember at this point. But yeah, any character who just uses the regular projectile like that needs an animation upgrade. They gave one to Medea and it is so amazing and I love it and I wish I used her more. Whew. Okay. Well, um, that was both not as bad and also worse than I thought it was going to be. Not as bad because these past few ones have been pretty tough, but also worse because I underestimated them. So I don't really know where I was going with that one, but it kind of breaks even. So beat that one. Good. Oh, and now I got enough to try the next Path of Reincarnation. Asura Realm. Assassins, Lancers, and Sabres. I'm gonna be dealing with Assassins, then I want... No, uh, nah, her attack power is way too weak. Okay, uh, Lancers and Sabres, so... Do we have a good Archer we can take with us? Uh, David's not bad. Recommend level 65. I'm gonna risk it with another, uh, with another Mordred, and gonna swap out for Steno, gonna keep you up toward the front instead. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep, put her up there. I have an archer, so I'll use her. She might be good, at least for some cannon fodder, or for stalling, with her charm spells and all that. All right, if I had to guess... Actually, I'm not really sure what this is gonna be, because last time... On the Path of Reincarnation, it was Shadow Servants of characters we've already fought. And, uh, unless they're going to keep repeating the same Shadow Servants, but in a different order or grouping them together of the same kind. No? Uh, okay. Hmm. Oh, you poor thing. I'm sorry I brought you into this. Oh, oh, 
That didn't last very long. Now at least the bus drop's gonna be good. critical stars for next round. Really wish I had more of those EXP cards, because my car stopped at level 60. Oh, not that thing again. Uh, oh, does that mean we're going to have to fight Spriggan later? Because usually in these kind of quests, when there's one of those, there's a Spriggan nearby. Never fails. Like, I know one showed up in North America, too. I still pronounce the, that campaign North America because I cannot remember how to pronounce the actual title. But y'all know what I mean. Ow. Ow. If you could kindly not, good sir. Alright, Karna, let him have it. Not gonna get quite the noble phantasm boost I wanted, but I'm more focused on damage right now. Took out about half of its HP. Ow. Alright. This might be a mistake, but. Okay, I can definitely kill a next turn with whatever I throw at it. Shield my noble phantasm, will ya? Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Increase defense just a little bit. Increase defense, remove debuffs. Yeah, noble phantasm gauge ready to go. And let's go for critical stars on this one. Actually, no, let's go for guaranteed kill on this one. So, Karna, Mordred, Mordred. Yeah. But I say I want some critical stars for next round, but I'm like, no, I'm using Noble Phantasms next round. And I'd rather have a guaranteed kill on that beast. Oh. Red Scaled Serpent. That's the boss? Okay, I was expecting something else, but alright. That that's fine. Well, at least these Clarinet Blood Arthurs will take out those two Lancers, so we don't have to worry about them. Maybe I should have brought a caster with me. Not a bad amount of damage for the first round. Carnival Phantasm is only single target, if I recall. So she, so she'll likely only be able to take out one of my people at once. But her critical rage through the roof. Oh dear. Most likely gonna lose Karna and my Mordred this turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw out some some critical stars for them. That damage wasn't very good.
if you could kindly knock it off with all the critical hits. Alright. How you like this? Ha! Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, good job, Mordred. Dang, that was close. Whew, a lot of items, a lot of items. Just give me all your lotuses. I need those for the item shop. That was really close. Not quite as close as the last one, but I, the, I think the tension was a lot higher because I did not have anything for that weakness. Whew, okay. That's not a bad episode. Managed to clear Path of Enlightenment and Path of Reincarnation. And... What horrors await us in the next one, because I'm not ready for these. Oh yeah, another Ox Demon King. Great. Because I'm not ready for these... These bosses. I I really need to level grind my servants a lot more. Alright, well, thank you all so much for watching. This has been Blade Cross EXE, part of Flashing Blades Productions. And tune in next time when we continue on these quests. Peace out.